Senator Rand Paul calling for the resignation of Director of National Intelligence James Clapper. Senator Paul saying Clapper is a bigger danger to the U.S. than NSA leaker Edward Snowden. Why does he say that? Senator Paul joins us. Before I get, first, nice to see you, sir. Before I get to the question of Snowden versus Clapper, I'm curious. You, you call for his resignation. Why has he just been? Why didn't you call for him to be fired? Well, either or, and or prosecution, to tell you the truth. I think that it's a bit hypocritical for those who want blood and they want to prosecute Snowden for breaking a law, which he did, but they don't want to do anything to the director of intelligence for breaking a law. It's like we're going to pick and choose which laws can be broken, which one can't. I think particularly when you're a high-ranking official in government, you, you're setting an example for the rest of government. And it's made it, frankly, hard for us to believe uh, when the intelligence community comes and says, oh, we need this surveillance technique because we caught all these terrorists. And you're like, well, let's look at them one by one. We don't believe you when you tell us that. And you say that based on his March 12th testimony when he said the NSA does not wittingly collect uh, information on all Americans, bulk information. And, of course, after Snowden released his information, we found out that was simply not true. He apologized, but nonetheless, he knew about when he said it. Some people say he never would have uh, ever admitted to this, and the America never would have known had not Snowden's revelations come forward. But the other thing about this is Senator Wyden told him in advance he was going to ask the question. This wasn't like he got hamstrung and he got confused and gave the wrong answer. He was told in advance he would get the question, and he chose to lie in public uh, testimony. But see, now it puts at odds all of our testimony from anybody from President Obama's administration. When they come to us and they tell us something, are they lying to us because it's classified? I get it all the time where they at least admit it's classified and I can't talk to you in this setting about it. But I'm concerned now they may tell me something that may not be the truth. Well, there's no consequence for not telling the truth. And even uh, Senator Saxby Chambliss, Republican from Georgia, is the ranking member. He said Clapper was, quote, in a tough spot in the opening hearing and he should not resign. Um, he could have simply said it was classified, right? They do it all the time. I would think it's a sort of 101 for uh, people who know classified information to say, Senator, I can't discuss that in why this didn't setting. He? Why didn't he? I have no idea why, because it's purposely telling us the opposite of what's true. And uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it's very, very damaging to why, the credibility of the why intelligence agents. Why is Senator Chambliss so uh, sort of like, oh, well, you know, he's in a tough spot? I think some are more forgiving of the intelligence community, and they think that they would only do things for good. And I actually don't dispute their motives. I, I don't really think Clapper is a bad person. or the, I think he probably wants what we all want. We want protection from terrorists. But I think he has a loose definition of uh, sort of surveillance and privacy and the law, frankly, that I think we shouldn't have. We need more protection of our privacy. Why do you say that he's Clapper is more dangerous than Edward Snowden? Because I think overall he's damaged the credibility of the entire administration. But it's his on top of the heels of other things. We've had IRS agents or IRS officials who are targeting people. They haven't been held responsible. We have State Department people through Benghazi that didn't send reinforcements, didn't provide adequate security when it was requested. They haven't been fired. So it's really it's one thing after another leading us to see that this is sort of a lawless administration. And so you would refer Clapper to a perjury investigation for a criminal action? Yeah, and I'm not alone. I mean, James Sensenbrenner, who is a high-ranking congressman on intelligence, co-author of the Patriot Act, has said exactly the same thing. So I just don't understand why there's such a clamor that they want to go after Snowden, but they want to do nothing for Clapper, who broke a law also. And you can argue that Snowden really believes he was doing it for a higher purpose. I'm not saying he's completely without culpability either. I think we do have to have laws on leaking, but we also have to have laws on lying. Senator, nice to see you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me.